guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I have Handrietta with me today. So if you don't know who that is, that is my practice hand. And I am going to do some nail extensions. I have definitely done some form extensions and they're kind of difficult on a practice hand and not a real hand. So I am using some nails this time, like the um, normal extension nails. So I am just roughing up the surface and I only roughed up the surface on the actual like nail, the practice nail versus doing it on the extension as well. I mean, you probably could do both, but for me, this worked perfectly fine. The only problem I had with some is that some of the like extensions of the nails were a little bit larger. Um, like the C curve on them was obviously vastly greater than this little practice hand. So I find that I have to kind of shove some glue down in there because of just the way it works, but you'll see me do that. So I am just cleansing the nails and just getting all that dust off because I don't want anything on there. So I actually already put some glue on that extension and you can see that I am just applying pressure as if you were doing it on a real hand. That is the best part about this is that this pretty much emulates a real hand and you would do a lot of the same steps here as you would on a real practice hand or a real hand, not practice hand. I'm doing it on a practice hand. So I'm just taking generic nail glue off Amazon that I bought, it's like nothing special. And you can see I'm just placing it on that, well, trying to place it on that little edge that I have there as if this was a natural nail. And you can see I'm kind of pinching in the sides a little bit. You don't wanna use too much glue but you wanna use enough for it to stick. This is probably one of the ones that had a little bit of a deeper C curve, so you can see that it's not sticking as well. And don't worry if it's a little bit off on the sides because when you go back in, you can file those bad boys down. So here I'm trying to push it down and I just shoved more glue in there and it worked. Um, if you go to a salon, a lot of times they do that as well if it's not sticking but I don't really like doing that on the natural nail. If it's, I usually just do extensions. I don't do um, tips on my natural nails. I don't know why, it's just, I guess, preferred to do extensions. I mean, I'm not against doing extensions on natural nails, but I like to sculpt mine, which I actually have a video on if you guys want to watch it. But the practice hand, can be a little challenging. Handrietta and I sometimes go at it. You can see her uh, ring finger has already popped out. Yeah, so that's why you see I don't file on camera ever, pretty much on my practice hand. Well, yeah, and I'm also a bull in a china closet. <laughs> Whoopsies. Also, my nail tutorial will be up potentially before you see this. I think so, it may not, I think you will. I think you'll see it before this is up. So that is already up. The thumb is the easiest one cause it's not as curved and it's flat, but you can see towards the sides that it is a little bit larger, but the one uh, like below it, the C curve was too strong on it. So I couldn't use that one, it kept popping off. So now I'm just going to blend the tip a little bit. You don't have to do this. I just do this because I think it's going to look better in the long run. And if I've always said for me personally, if I prep things correctly and try to make the base that I'm doing my design on the best I can, then I feel like everything else will just fall into place. So that's why I am doing this guy. And so again, I'm just filing the tip. I'm not actually touching the, which would be the natural nail of said person. Handrietta is fake, so she is not real. But you can see, since I am doing it on a practice hand, that's why I filed the natural nail. 
I mean, you would probably just buff a natural nail if you were going to put tips on. But since we are doing it on a practice hand, that's what I wanted to do. So we're not doing these too long, but I did want them a little bit longer than the nails that I had on. And I'm doing like a pointed, but kind of squared off at the same time. So it's a little bit almondy, but with like a flat edge, but it's not quite coffin. Does that make sense? I don't even know if this is like a real nail shape, but for some reason I was just feeling it. I debated doing almond, but I don't know. I was feeling this little shape. So you'll see in the tutorial where I actually use it. I think it's my skull nail tutorial. I haven't edited it yet. I'm pretty sure that's what this one was, but I wanted to show me doing this because I thought this might be interesting for some people who are just getting practice hands or who don't have hand riettas of their own and that they can, you know, get a practice hand to use. So now I'm going to be filing the shape. <laughs> I hate filing these practice hands with a passion. Look, I wasn't even touching that finger and it was already popping out. <laughs> so that's why I literally never file these on camera, ever. <laughs> I think I did it one time and it was terrible. So I'm like holding the nail, trying to get it perfectly straight. That's why the shapes on these aren't necessarily always the best because it's very hard to file them and, you know, get them debulked. So I do my best on the shapes for these guys, but we are going to wind this down, cleansing it off. And then I took a base coat and put it all over the nails to prep for the design, but you'll see that in the actual design. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.